Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello, welcome to EAC Live. We are from School of Fundamental Science Chemistry. My name is Nur Zalifa Binti Mazuki. Uh, my name is Nur Afrika Binti Abdul Razak. We want to discuss uh, about earthquake and tsunami in Palu, Sulawesi, Indonesia. As we know, 28th of September 2018, a 7.5 magnitude earthquake struck in the Indonesia island of Sulawesi and followed by a tsunami with waves up to 6 meter height. Apart from that, landslide happened about 2,256 people that uh, 10,579 people injured and 17,836 missing. From this topic, we had interviewed three respondents to share their opinion about this. Hi, today I would like to interview one of our students in MT. Hi, can you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Fatima. What do you know about the latest disaster? Uh, I know about the issue uh, about the earthquake and tsunami in Palu City. Sulawesi, Indonesia. Based on the theory of science knowledge, how are the earthquake and tsunami can happen? The earthquake occur when the pressure go up that make the rock rock breaks, and tsunami occur when the powerful wave that cause that caused by the earthquake. What is the effect on the earth structure from the Disaster. Uh, many people were killed because uh, there are so many buildings that are collapsing, and the, and of course the buildings are disrupt, destroyed, and the food supply limited that can cause uh, the people to starvation. How long does it take to recover from an earthquake? Uh, it can take months or years. Uh, it actually depends on the government. Can tsunami be predicted? Um, since earthquake cannot be predicted, we do not know when a tsunami will happen. But we only know when the earthquake happens. Uh, okay, hello sir. Uh, can you introduce yourself? Okay, uh, my name is Mohamed Rafi Ben Amli. Uh, or known as uh, Sir Rafi in my class. I teach CCT 3311 uh, leadership. Um, and I'm a postgraduate student in Institute of Tropical Biodiversity and Sustainable Development, University of Malaysia, Thailand. Um, thank you for being my respondent today. Um, and do you know about the disaster happened in Palu? Uh, yes, it was a very unfortunate and very, uh, very, very hard, uh, hard, hard throbbing incident that happened in Palu. Uh, uh, based on your knowledge, what the tsunami can happen? Uh, when the tsunami can happen? Uh, why the tsunami can happen? Um, okay, in the term of science, tsunami could happen when the tectonic plates move um, in the deep sea. So the movement of tectonic plate or earthquake that happened in the deep sea um, make tsunami occur. Uh, means the wave, the wave itself uh, moves the water, the volume of certain a big volume of water onto the land, and then after the wave uh, increases in certain size, it becomes tsunami. Uh, this is uh, because uh, part and partial is the uh, is the the land the land itself the the earth itself and another factor is the human factor. Okay. okay um, what the effect to the facilities and building from this disaster? Um, especially in Palu, we see a monstrous uh, disaster occur where all the buildings have been wiped out. And all the facilities such as um, water, fresh water, uh, electricity, uh, buildings, economics, everything um, become halt. It's totally destroyed. Um, based on your knowledge, uh, yeah. can tsunami can be predicted? Uh, it's hard to say, but within the development of technologies nowadays, um, some tsunamis can be predicted, and some uh, measurement 
could be taken to reduce or mitigate the losses. Uh, but we must we must continue and further develop this technology to help us in mitigate all these losses. Okay, lastly, yes. in your opinion, how long does it take to recover from the tsunami? Uh, it's actually it's depend depend on the government itself and then depend depend on the on the severity of the problem uh, the destruction and everything and then it depend on the help from external and external sources um, and then the willingness of the people itself to develop their country I think uh, for some serious cases uh, it will take maybe around. 10 or 20 years to get them back into a very, um, I think, uh, the initial, uh, the initial peaceful, peaceful and functioning state. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you for your time, sir. Okay, welcome. Uh, see you later. All right. Thank you. What the effect for human from this disaster? Uh, there's so many losses, such as the family loss. Uh, house, the call it, call it, um, their, their job, uh, their um, source members. of the income, family yeah. members. I think so, so many losses. Do you know how much we seem affected by this disaster? I think more than uh, 20,000 people. Or yeah, seven seven thousand and five hundred people displaced from their house. In your opinion, uh, what kind of help need to be given for the victim? Uh, I, uh, for me, we can donate our like what what they need, such as the clothes, the food, money, and so on. Thank you for your for your time. Mm -hmm. See you later. Okay. Today, I want to uh, I want to interview our free respondent. Hello, can you introduce yourself? Uh, okay, uh, my name is Salihah Hasaliki Amrani. So I'm from Trengganu. What do you know about the latest disaster? Latest major disaster. Oh, um, tsunami in Palu. Uh, what do you know about the latest natural disaster? Mm, I have watched a few videos about the uh, Palu, tsunami in Palu, Indonesia, earthquakes. As a conclusion, all of the respondents know about this issue. So, we need to alert all about the current issue to prepare ourselves from the disaster. That's all from us. Thank you for watching EEC Live. Thank you.